Glory to Jesus Christ, glory forever. Father Jason here. I just wanted to speak with some of you about uh, the state of our life here in this country, the United States, uh, North America in general, in the West, and um, uh, in the church, universal. Um, and sometimes, you know, we may give into that temptation that things are so bad here that this isn't the country that I recognize, this isn't the church that I grew up in, and why even bother anymore? But I want to share with you a story, true story, to inspire you, and it has to do with the underground Ukrainian Catholic Church after the Second World War. You know, those underground Catholics, they had nothing. They didn't have a church. That visible church structure was taken from them by the KGB-backed uh, Moscow Patriarchate. They had no parish church that they could go to. They had no, um, you know, uh, chancery office where you could go and you could, uh, you know, meet with a bishop or something like that. They had no visible church. It was all taken away. If they met, it was out in the field at night uh, undercover. Secondly, there, there was no... Um, political structure that they could turn to. I mean, it was a uniparty state, uh, very much like what's happening here in the West. You know, these countries turn into liberal uniparty monolithic states. Uh, they had no political party that they could um, put their hopes in and say, oh, in four years, we're going to get a, you know, a conservative uh, office um, uh, party in place and they're going to deliver us. That wasn't on the table. And also uh, the whole culture. You know, the, 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 the culture was held captive by a political ideology. And furthermore, the Vatican, the Vatican did not help. The Vatican was held hostage by a diplomatic policy known as Ospolitik, in which uh, they, the Vatican sought to simply allow us to coast into the sunset and to disappear in the hope that the Vatican could simply negotiate directly with the Russian Orthodox Church and these inconvenient uh, Ukrainian Greek Catholics would no longer exist. So they didn't do us a whole lot of favors. So we didn't have uh, a strong outspoken papacy that was advocating for us. We didn't have political parties. We didn't have visible churches that you could go to. There wasn't a, a culture out there that would nurture you and protect you. All four of these levels were working against these underground Ukrainian Catholics. And so the only thing they could rely upon was a radical faith in Jesus Christ and him alone. And that brings us to the very beginning. That's the kind of faith we need to have is a radical faith in Jesus Christ. And if these other things come along once in a while, a political party that's aligned with our faith or, you know, a papacy that's outspoken or a parish church that has good structure in place, then that's icing on the cake. Now, my friends, we're faced with that same problem that these underground Ukrainian Catholics were faced with, you know, 80 years ago. And you are going to become the man of God that he wants you to become, not in spite of 2023, but because of it. All the ingredients that you and I need to be saints are found right here, right now. So stop pouting and start paddling. We have rapids straight ahead.